Well, if you all remember, we found this uh, garden table at an estate sale a bit ago, and we had this idea that we want to put tile on the front. And we have chosen uh, Mexican tiles, you know, hecho en Mexico. <laughs> and it's gonna be, I think it's gonna look gorgeous and I can't wait to get the project started. Welcome back to Press Play on Life. Today, we're gonna tile this table. The Lord willing, and if the creeks don't rise, it is supposed to storm tomorrow. It rained yesterday. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Oddly, it's not so humid. So I thought, oh, come out here and I'd tile it. But there are mosquitoes everywhere. So we may take this project inside. However, look at this. <laughs> I'm missing two tiles. So we're gonna run to Home Depot and get maybe a same size, blue, yellow, green, whatever color we can find tile. And we'll put them on each corner, perhaps. We'll see. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. We're here in the tile shop instead of Home Depot. We decided to not go with the big tile like we thought we were gonna do. So Karen went online and bought <laughs> another box. <laughs> another box. Ooh. Pretty. Also pretty. Very pretty. Good selection of these. We'll get this done some Maybe you should time. separate this one and this one so they're yeah. not two weird ones right yeah. from each other. We have moved inside. It is 90 something degrees, feels like 96 outside. The wind is blowing like crazy. It's an oven outside. We are inside away from mosquitoes in the heat in the kitchen. And uh, this is what we're gonna do first. Okay, if you see here, there's this, uh, yeah, an uneven edge. I don't know if you can see how. Mm -hmm. That, and then this is ridiculous. <laughs> I shouldn't have picked this table to tile is what I'm thinking, but this, uh, so while we were at Home Depot, we had a piece of plywood cut to the perfect size so that we wouldn't have to do that. Now Karen and I are just going to use some wood glue and glue this piece of uh, plywood down. Yes, yes, I know, I used my fingers. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I felt like finger painting with glue today. So once we had that on there, all over, nice. We took the plywood and uh, Got it stuck down there, found some of my big cookbooks, used it as a uh, weight, and then we just took some long nails and along the side we nailed it in and then we got some little nails, nailed it in. Okay, now we're gonna put in the short nails. Now it's time for the glue. We're going to glue down these tiles. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. but we get a nice uh, amount of glue. Figure out a design that we like. Make you happy. Well, I don't mean like that. Stick these puppies in, and then we have to wait uh, 24 hours before we can do anything. And this table is at almost my knees, not quite my knees, but it's it's pretty low, so uh, it's not it's not at waist height, so it, it's kind of a backbreaker. But here we go, isn't this gorgeous? I love it, love the design. Not sure how it's gonna look with the uh, grout in it yet, so kind of excited to get the grouting done. Okay, now it just needs to dry and then I can grout it tomorrow. It has been 24 hours. It is time to grout that table. Let's do it. And yes, I am in the same clothes that I was in yesterday. These are my work clothes. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, guess what? We discovered last night that we bought the wrong grout for the tile. So Karen got on last night, ordered some new from Home Depot. Guess what? It's the next day. All I did was pick out spacers yesterday. I got up early this morning, went to Home Depot, picked up what we ordered, and uh, today's Monday. This is the day before this video goes out, so let's get this thing crowded already. So here's what we got before. It's a non-sanded grout big 25 pound bag of grout. All right, so we decided to mix this outside because of the dust. The door, scooters. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Looks like a complete mess right now, but I think it's gonna turn out okay. It looks pretty. I like the color of grout that we chose. We had to wait 10 minutes and then you can polish up the tiles and then you wait three hours and then you polish them up a little bit more. And this has been in my kitchen for so long. Okay, now we wait for it to dry again and then I can seal it and we can set stuff on it and then I'll show you what it looks like with the flowers on it. It's so pretty. I love it. It looks so neat. I am ready to get this out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of taken over the whole workspace. Dude. There it is. It's so pretty. I love it. What do you think? Isn't it so stinking pretty? Of course, I'm going to paint this. I just absolutely adore it. I love it. And this definitely was not an inexpensive project. The table cost, I think it was $40, and we spent, we'll say, a lot on tiles and materials. If you're looking for a project that doesn't cost a whole lot, I wouldn't copy this one. Well, y'all, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hey, and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you again. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.